Watson's scaphoid test can be utilized to assess for scaphoid instability or wrist instability. The patient is instructed to supinate their forearm with minor pronation present. The clinician will next apply an ulnar force at the scaphoid tubercle while prepositioning the patient's hand into ulnar deviation and slight wrist extension. The clinician will now maintain the force on the scaphoid while repositioning the patient's hand into radial deviation with slight wrist flexion. Next, the clinician will release the force on the scaphoid, trying to identify either a thud or click present. If a thud or click is present, this is indicative of a subluxation at the scaphoid indicating a positive test. There is modest clinical utility with this test due to the low sensitivity and specificity.